We are up to the eighth parak in the third, eighth Mishnah, in the third parak in Bamatsia, learning the Zecher Nishmas, Nachshomer, Ben Tzvi Ariel. So we're continuing in the same vein. If somebody gives somebody stuff, we said last time you give them fruit or you give them uh, grain to watch for you, then there's a certain assumption, and then they mix it in with all of their grain and all of their fruit. There's a certain assumption that a certain amount will be lost through the mice and rats and rot or whatever. You don't have to give them back the entire amount. Over a period of time, you assume there's going to be a certain amount of loss. So our Mishnah continues with other uh, items. Yotzilo shtsus liyayin. You can assume that there's a loss of the, a sixth of all the wine that, that he gave him. So he mixed weir wine with, with, with his wine, and uh, there's an assumption, though, that... Uh, the wine will get absorbed in the barrels, uh, and therefore you can take away a, a whole uh, sixth. Uh, Rabbi Yehuda Omer Chomesh, Rabbi Yehuda says it was a fifth. Uh, the Gemara explains that uh, in his place they didn't use wooden barrels, they used uh, pottery clay, and they absorb even more, so that's why he says you would take away more. Now, Yotzilo Shloshes Lugan Shem and Lamea, you would take off it's not as bad for oil. Uh, wine apparently is absorbed in greater amounts and, and leaves more sediment, so there's an uh, assumption more needs to be taken off. But if he gave him 100 lugan of oil, so only three of the lugan does he not give back. He only gives back 97, so it loses a little bit. Lo gumechsa shmarim, lo gumechsa bella. And actually tells us how it works out. One and a half of that percentage goes to uh, is like the sediment that, that you know sticks to the sides of the, the thing and becomes sort of gross and you can't really pull it out. And one and a half is absorbed. So it gives us the, the measurement breakdown. Yeah. yeah. Is, is, are we assuming here that there's an intermingling with his stuff? And his yes. Stuff? Okay. Yeah, if he got his own barrel, so give him back his own barrel. There's nothing to talk about. In the law is he's not allowed to mix it with his own stuff. But if he did, then this is what this is what uh, you do to give it back. Um, now, im hayas shemen mezukak, if we're talking about uh, refined oil, so really they've taken out the sediment already. He gave him refined oil. So any motzi lo So he doesn't he doesn't get back the the stuff for the sediment. Im hayu kankana mishanim. Now, if they were old uh, barrels that was being uh, 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 stored in, and he motes a little bella, and he doesn't give him back the absorption either, because the old ones are already like sort of full of their absorbed already with all the oil that was in them. They're not going to absorb anymore, and therefore he doesn't give him back anything according to the chavim. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Af Hamocher Shem and Mezukak Lechaveru Kol Yemos Hashana Hires a Mekabal of Logu Mechsa Shmarim Lamea. So Rabbi Yehuda says, even somebody who sells somebody else oil, and the way it works is he doesn't give him a you know. He doesn't give him a gallon, you know, vats and vats of oil. What he does is says, yeah, I'm selling you oil. You come and you get it for me whenever you need it. You fill up your, you know, your little thing, and you'll have that in your house. So basically, I'm storing it for you in a certain sense, even though he's, he's selling it to him. So even though he sells him the uh, refined stuff, nonetheless, he accepts that there'll be still a uh, one and a half um, percent of the sediment that will come out of the hundred, meaning even though uh, he sells him the refined stuff, in this case still, there's still going to be some sediment even through refined stuff. The Chum, however, disagree, and they say that, uh, you know, if, if somebody sells somebody else like a whole, a, a large amount all at once, that he basically, he's, he's mocha on this one and a half percent, that the general assumption is he doesn't care about it, he lets it go. Okay.